Hi, Rosie Hardy Gardening here. So today we have come back to look at splitting this napita and I have made the decision that this bit at the back here is going to stay in place so we're going to lift the big piece at the beginning there and then we're going to split it up. So what I have brought with me is two different uh, spades I prefer to use my little border spade, but I know I'm going to be having to do a lot of leverage on here. So I've brought the big long handled spade as well to make my life a bit easier. Notice when I put the spades in the ground, I am putting them into the border. I am not sticking them into my turf and pushing them in because all you do then is cut a bit and then you ruin your turf. So always be aware of where you're putting your tools. So what we need to do to start off with is dig straight down and we're going to go right the way around the plant, straight down all the way through, as far down as we possibly can and just loosening it off to start off with. You will find that you, in some cases, it will be quite tough and this has not been dug over for a few years and we may need to do a little bit of jumping on the spade to get it down deep enough and actually get through because there are flints in this soil and everything else and when we get to the bit where we're going through the plant itself we will have to be quite hard and we have to avoid the roses as well the rose is getting in my way right let's start trying to Maneuver this plant and get it out. Because this plant has been in the ground for so long, it's getting to the point where I'm not going to be able to get underneath there and put, lift it out as one big clump. It will be too heavy for me anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the plant and I'm going to decide where I am going to split it in the ground here and lift pieces off it. So you look at the plant, what do I want? I want a reasonable sized piece about this big to transplant and put somewhere else. So I would just go through with the spade like so here and then I will go across here and across there. That will give me five new clumps to be able to transplant and put into the other area. <laughs> This is what we want. Now it's giving way and we are just about getting a nice clump. One recalcitrant bit there and hey presto, we have what we want. Just one large root there. This root pruning will not make any difference to your plant that you are transplanting. So we have and if you just can't get the last root with your spade, you can use a pair of snips just to cut that root. There we go. One nice bit for transplanting and putting into the garden elsewhere. So just carry on going through the plant, separating out and digging round the pieces that you want to do. We're going to do another four pieces and leave a large piece at the back because we want to leave some in this border just in case the owner doesn't get round to redoing what she's meant to be doing. You will see here that some of the bits didn't come out as complete pieces and that is because of the way it's grown and the fact that stuff has eaten underneath the roots but it's still perfectly possible to pick those pieces up and use them. Once finished, just tidying up around the clump and making sure that it looks clean and tidy once we've finished there. And then we've got five wonderful clumps. Some are much tighter, some are individual pieces which we will just gather together to make enough for one clump. And as you can see, there are some little bits and pieces, but that's absolutely fine. So five even sized pieces there and this is what you get. You'll get a bit of root and you know a bit of buds and that's what you're looking for. As long as there is good bud growth coming 
from below and slightly higher, then that can just be buried back into the ground when you replant it. So there you are. Now we go to where we're going to plant and we're going to evenly put them through this border here. Just tuck them in so that they're going to complement the hylotelephium that is here as well. You will notice that this soil here has got a lot of white in it. That's because where we are in this test valley area, it is full of chalk and it's chalk and flints and you know you're lucky if you've got a reasonable amount of actual soil in here as well. Don't want to go too near to the front edge, we're going to go a little bit further closer towards the hylotelephium and then that gives you room between the edge of the grass and the edge of the border so that you are able to trim up your edges when you get done. The thing as you get lower in these patches you can see how much white chalk there is within this soil. It's good drainage and it's reasonably fertile and these, board, these borders have been worked over with quite a lot of muck over the years because this is an old established garden. Here the holes are ready, we just place the plants into the positions that we want them to go and then once we've got them in there, make sure that all the roots are down and all the top pieces are up, facing upwards, so that they're sitting neatly into the holes. And then you can start to backfill after you have put them all into ground. As you can see, some of these clumps are more than one piece. We've just made up exactly the same size pieces to give us a good size plant when they start growing away. Once those are in like that, then we just pull all the soil that you dug up, pull it around to the crown of the plant, making sure there are no gaps and it's full right the way around so that when you actually start to firm the plant in and using your foot, just, you know, push them in and make sure that they're well planted down. And then once that's done, Always remember when you've finished and you aren't going to go back into the back of the border, get rid of your footprints and then you can start on the next plants. Now you'll see with this one there's a little bit of hole at the back so I've realised that and I just need to lift a bit of soil around and push it into that back area there. It just depends on how you dug up out the holes in the first place but firmed in really nicely and then make sure, as I say, tidy up, make sure there are no footprints there um, because then it looks as though you haven't been anywhere on the border at all. Just say the last one there, filling it up and you can see exactly how the plant should look. You've got the stalks sticking upwards. They will soon regrow. I'm not gonna water these in because we had rain forecast. If it wasn't rain forecast, then you'd give them a water in. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel.